Okay, good morning everyone. Um, time to share something very, very different with you. Um, not just about um, stats and solar and electric cars, all those sort of things. Just a bit of life behind the scenes with me, I suppose. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit fitter than I was and uh, decided I was too fat, too old, too um, out of breath all the time. So yes, I've gone with an electric bike to get me out a little bit more, but I've also taken up running. Now, just saying that seems so weird because you know, I'm the sort of person that didn't think I could run 10 steps, let alone run any particular distance. And uh, I've always thought running's bad for your knees and joints and I plod quite heavily, so it's it's just not for me. But lo and behold, you know, I've met someone through um, solar, etc. And they they had a heart attack a while ago and they're using running as a bit of rehabilitation, etc. And he, he is the same as me that, you know, didn't think you could run at all. Definitely was going from couch to 5K. So that's what I've been doing, a couch to 5K program um, with a proper running club. Um, I had an injury, a calf injury where I didn't warm up properly one day. So um, I'm now recovered from that and uh, running again. And I've turned up today at my first park run. This is a 5k park run and I'm not really ready for it. Um, I haven't run anywhere near 5k yet. So today's going to be running some of it and walking some of it. So, you know, I don't care if I come last. I don't care if I take forever. It's progress and it's an opportunity to see what park runs like and uh, to participate, which is, again, un unlike me. I don't do that sort of thing normally. So there's lots of fresh new things, but running, it brings into it's bringing me new stats and new thoughts. You know, I need to track my heart rate. I need to track the recovery periods, um, how I'm breathing so that I know when to start running, when to stop running and when to start walking and stuff and then track my pace. And I want to see if I'm progressing and how's my distance going. So there's lots more things I want to track. And um, I've got a health app on my mobile phone, this new Doogie phone that I told you about a while ago. But the phone's not working very well for um, running because the screen print and the smart, keys are exactly where I hold it which I've said it's brilliant for when you sat down using the phone but when you're holding it as in running and holding it I'm taking pictures all the time and taking screenshots all the time and doing stuff that I don't want and it is a bit it is a bit heavy and awkward to carry and um, I'm finding holding it upside down is working best at the moment but then I can't read the data so I've gone for a smartwatch this is a TicWatch 5 Pro uh, that I've been sent to try out and uh I would never have thought of that because in 2009, when I gave up work, I stopped wearing a watch and I haven't worried about time. So I'm not a watch wearer at all. So, so why have I gone for this? And basically, it's the stats collection and it's the easy way of viewing it. I want, I want something that tells me the pace I'm doing and keeps me up to date easily with just a flick of the wrist, etc. With the mobile phones just not quite doing that for me. So I'm trying it. But also, rather than going for a sport watch type thing like a Garmin, which apparently are more accurate. Um, I thought I'd go for the Android-based watch, Google. Um, so it's got the Google wearable operating system in it. I thought I'd go for that with this. And the reason for that is because I, I think there's more chance I can integrate it with all of my home assistant stuff and my smart um, stuff at home and hopefully my cars. So hopefully wearing a smart Google watch will integrate to um, a smart Google um, capable car. So yeah, I I'm hoping that going the Android route, the uh, Google wearable operating system route rather than Fitbit, rather than a Garmin, will be the right thing to do. And anyway, I'm just giving it a go. First day, it just arrived yesterday. So this is the first time that I've tried it. Um, feels quite good. Um, it's quite light. I thought it'd be a bit more awkward because it's quite a big um, chunky thing on the wrist, but it's all right. So it's um, it's telling me at the moment I've done 239 steps. My heart rate is 92. It's 7.46 in the morning. I'm here very, very early. I'm not running until um, I'm meeting people at half eight. So I've got another 40 minutes yet and then uh, then running. So it's going to be really interesting to see what this tracks and what my heart rate is, because I've never mentioned it, never measured anything like that on any of my runs. I have no idea how close to passing out I actually get when I start running. And, and, and it is quite laughable because um, this is not what I do. Um, this is not me at all. It's very, very alien. So I thought I'd share it anyway. I thought I'd do a quick video. Um, and ask a question, and that's why I want to do this video mostly, not just to tell you about I've got a tick watch and here it is and those sort of things. 
and it, it does seem good. It's got the good health app on it. It, um, it can sync up to my phone. I can see my notifications on it from my mobile phone. It does all the things that you'd think uh, a smartwatch might do. But that that's the thing. I don't know what it can really do. You know, there's no easy manual to look at this to say, now you've got it do all of these things because these things are brilliant so if anyone's got um a google smartwatch out there and you're a user of it can you leave me some uh, comments let me know what the best things are to use them for and how well they integrate with other things because at the moment it's a very very simple thing it's a watch on my wrist and it's tracking my health stats and it's an exercise recording system so i don't have to use my mobile phone for that and it's also going to keep me up to date with notifications. I haven't seen the very obvious thing yet as to whether I have to have my phone with me for half of these things to work or how much of it actually works with just the watch on your wrist. So, um, yeah, again, the instructions that came with it aren't idiot proof like that. It doesn't tell me how everything is going to work instantly. I've got to just try and discover and see what goes on. So today is the fir first day. Anyway, let me know. If you're uh, a Google operating system, wearable operating system user, let me know how do you use it and uh, what the best things for it are. Uh, give me a head start because I don't like reading manuals. <laughs> I don't like watching too many YouTube videos trying to find out how to use these things. So anyway, um, I'll probably let you know how I get on, both with the 5K run or walk and uh, wearing this tick watch and how good it is. So far, so good. I I'm, I'm quite impressed. Um, I haven't worn a watch for ages, and I think I can get used to it, that I hardly know it's there. And yet there's lots of stats, there's lots of information there, which is better than carrying a phone. So if I can get away without carrying my mobile phone for quite a lot and do all my sports measuring, I'll be quite happy with that. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. More videos. I uh, hope you don't mind this sort of thing. Uh, just an impromptu live session to tell you what's going on in my life and what am I doing. Yeah trying to get fit and healthy well at the end of this i'm probably going to be knackered rather than fit and healthy but uh, hopefully tomorrow i'll feel better take care see you again soon bye for now how do you stop this i can never remember there we go